Looking for a substitute for corn syrup and rocket fuel? Today, we're going to try brown rice syrup. Welcome to Rotary Rocketry. Now, brown rice syrup is not a very common product here in the United States. I have several grocery stores in my area and none of them have this product. I was able to find it in a local health food store. My research shows that this is much more common in some Asian countries, but because it meets the sugar and moisture content requirements that I was looking for in this project, we're going to give it a try. This is part three of a four part series where we are testing alternatives to corn syrup and rocket fuel. So why are we looking for alternatives to corn syrup? Well, the sugar rocket fuel that we like to make contains 18% corn syrup. Here in the United States, corn syrup is a common product and it's easy to find in stores. But in some other parts of the world, it's not that easy to find. So we're testing some alternative products to see if they can be used instead of corn syrup. In part one of the series, we made rocket fuel using honey, and in part two, we made rocket fuel using molasses. If you haven't seen those videos, there's links down in the description. Have a look after this video. We also have one more video in the series coming after this one. In that video, we're going to compare all the different sugar fuel mixtures that we've tried, and we'll look at all the launches to see how the different fuels perform. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and get notifications for our future videos, and be sure to hit that like button. We're using our standard fuel mixture that's 65% potassium nitrate, 17% powdered sugar, and 18% brown rice syrup instead of corn syrup. That gets mixed together and heated to around 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius. Then it's poured into the motor and the core rod is installed. After the fuel is cooled, the core rod is removed and here's the finished fuel. The motor we're using for all of these fuel tests is our Dart Monkey motor. This is a single use motor and it's our easiest to build PVC motor and nozzle assembly. If you want to know how to build this motor, there's a link down in the description to a complete tutorial video. This is an experimental fuel, so we did a ground test to see how well it burns and to make sure that it doesn't explode. The test went well, so I built another motor and it's ready for a flight test. This is the rocket we're going to be using for all of the test launches with all the different fuels. It's a three inch diameter rocket and it weighs just under a thousand grams, including the motor. Brown rice syrup fuel in three, two, one. that was a good launch and we got to 780 feet. If you haven't seen the other two videos for our other corn syrup substitutes, links are down in the description. We're going to be back next week with a video where we're going to talk about all the different sugar fuels we've tried and we'll compare the altitudes of the different launches for those motors. So that's going to be really exciting. Keep a lookout for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and do us a favor, hit that like button while you're down there too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.